Okay, okay, okay. Let's see. To the live. Cool. How are we doing, guys? Hope you're good. Let me mute okay. that. To the live. Just get all of the uh, groundwork out of the way. Right, cool. I hope we're good. So we're streaming across a couple of platforms here. Um, we've got some guys on the Elite 7. We've got some guys in Facebook. We've got some guys doing some other bits and pieces. So welcome. I hope you're good. So the whole point of this um, is to really give an educational class on how to build um, relentless focus over, uh, over a 12-week period. And um, I want to be able to take you through a, a process of doing this. Um, <clears throat> understand the importance of this and why we might want to do this and how this can benefit you and help you out as well with your lifestyle um, so that you can get the things that you want to get out of life, right? You achieve the things that you want to want, that you want most of them foremost, right? That's the thing that we want. We, we want to make sure that we, we're getting what we want out of life. I think that's really important to get. Cool, right. So let me just check in a couple of things technically and then we are, then we're a go, okay? Then we are a go. Right, cool. All right, let's get into it. Let's get stuck in um, and, and let's get some learning done. Cool. All right. So for those that uh, are not sure who I am, my name is James Boardman. I'm a former Royal Marine. Um, I help men um, build uh, like relentless focus to make sure that their time and energy is being used in the right way. OK, so they can achieve the things that they want. And a lot of the things that guys usually want is high levels of focus and time and energy right they want to be really more productive <laughs> they want to achieve things that are, um they want to excel in terms of that that focus i.e professionally and personally they want to make sure they're using their time and their energy wisely whilst we only have this one life we don't want to be wasting and get complaining sitting in a rut wasting time moaning about the things that we haven't got right we want to be focusing on the things that we want and working and spending time and energy and achieving them looking for high energy levels so passionate being passionate being driven being hungry being focused on all of the things that we really want to get out of life okay we want to be able to uh, have a body that we're proud of have an unbreakable mind and a controlled set of emotions um, so that we can actually get that balance, okay, and, and and feel really good about ourselves. It's an inside job, right? So we want to make sure that the body, the mind, and the emotions are all strong. We want to make sure that we're building up connection with the people that we love the most, and we're not destroying our relationships through us crumbling through every single day, right? Trying to climb the mountain, trying to get on the uh, on the pedestal where we feel like we're winning, and, and when we're not there, it's affecting those relationships, okay? So we want better connections. And then we've got the SRS, we want more structure, routine, and systems that benefit us to give us the outcomes that we want, to give us the happiness that we're looking for. And then the last one is wanting vision. Okay, a lot of the, and th these are all from the guys that I've worked with over the years. So whenever we've done a poll or whenever we've done a questionnaire, we've asked, "What do you want?" And these are the things that people want the most. These six things. Okay, so vision. Vision gives people direction. So let's have a look at some possibilities about where we could be with our lives. OK, where could we be with those lives? What could we achieve? OK, so here's what I would put is five possibilities. Now, there are multiple possibilities that we could have. OK, we could have this list endless. But for me, these are the top five possibilities that we could have once we achieve relentless focus over a 12 week period. So let we just use 12 weeks because it's a decent amount of time. OK. So a balanced life between our professional life and our personal life, that would feel pretty great, right? So we imagine kind of like having barriers and conditions that allow us to actually thrive and engage within a personal life, doing things for you. Who are you outside of your career? It's a question I often ask my business owners and my business mastermind is, who are you outside of your career or who are you outside of your business? And understanding that we've got to be able to have the balance between personal and professional. Like doing things for you that you love and finding that thing that you love. Okay, so this kind of comes to who are you outside of your career and work? Who are you outside of your relationships? Okay, what do you do for you? What do you do that you love? What do you do that you commit to? What do you do that gives you passion, gives you fire? Okay. Um, and then connections, the connections that we have, the possibilities of the connections that we have. So 
what, what are the connections? What could they be really good like? So a lot of the things that I always hear is that me and my wife used to be really close. Me and my wife used to have date nights. We used to have fun. We used to have a lot of sex. And what we tend to find now is it, dampened down because, um, because so many people are not connecting. Like men are disconnecting because they're going into their own world, right? And the possibilities of having those strong connections are huge. When we get the balance right, the connections and the fun that you can have with your children is huge. Just because your title is dad doesn't entitle you to their love, their commitment, their connection, their bond. Just because you're dad, you've got to work at that just like you would work at your body or work at your career or work at your business, okay? These relationships take effort, okay? The possibilities to have a body that you're proud of, to have an unbreakable mind and controlled emotions. They're three things that could literally be a game changer in terms of the message and the story and the narrative that you tell yourself on a daily basis when you wake up. So if you look at yourself in the mirror and you look at yourself and you go, I'm, I'm ashamed about what I look like, I've piled on the weight, I feel unattractive, that doesn't feel you like fire, right? But then if you woke up and you were like, man, I've worked for this body, just like the relationships, I've worked for this body. I've gone up at 4.15 every single morning and I've worked my nuts off in the gym. I've built this unbreakable mind by having structure, routine, and systems, by being accountable, by knowing where my focus is, where my time, my energy is going. And then the last possibility is having the possibility of a vision, which gives you a purpose, which then gives you excitement, passion, and fire for life. Imagine that life, okay? Imagine that life that you focus on there, right? And it gives you that focus, that drive, that hunger. If your life was like this, would you be a lot happier okay would you be a lot happier and i think you would definitely okay but what is the problem what is the problem so when it comes to focus because this is what about focus this is where most people are in terms of um in terms of their focus okay so when we look at the focus model so this is the equation. Okay, so this is like a little threesome. Focus, time, and energy. These things are absolutely crucial. The key, right? So when we have focus here, here's the problem. What we end up having is all of these things that we're trying to focus on, even on a day-to-day -day basis. There is all of these things that you're trying to manage with, okay? So your time and your energy is then spread really thin. So each one of these things you're trying to give your time and your energy to. This could be on a daily basis, a weekly basis. But because you have so many things, you feel overwhelmed. Everything feels chaotic. Everything feels frustrating because you're not making progress. And then you start building up anxiety. So this model here, is the problem. This is what's stopping us achieve all of those possibilities to achieve the wants out of life. This is a firefighting mentality, okay? With everything that's happening here, there's nothing in here that's necessarily growth. There's nothing in here that's necessarily moving you forwards, moving the needle forwards. We're just surviving. It's that survival mode. And some people call it Groundhog Day mentality. Some people call it zombie, zombie zone. But you're just not awake here. You're in the zombie zone. This is Groundhog Day mentality. Wake up, go to work, eat, sleep, work, repeat. And it's, and it's grinding men down. Okay, It's just grinding men down because there's no clear focus on how to build you up. Okay? So let's have a look at another model. This time we just focus purely on three outcomes that grow us. So the difference in terms of the terminology and the narrative and the story that we're, we're telling ourselves here is that the three things here, these are the things that move us forward, okay? So all of a sudden, our time and energy here, okay, are then being used wisely here, bang, these things. So they're being used wisely. So we're actually getting that focus. We're understanding where our time and energy is going, we're not burnt out and we're achieving outcomes. This, this brings control of time, energy and focus. This then brings 
progression, okay? This then brings certainty and clarity because actually these things here, we are suddenly, we've decided these are the things we want to focus on because actually they make, they give us the body that we're proud of. They give us more connection. They help us grow our business. They help us improve our routines. So when we look at those two models here, you can just visually see them. Look how chaotic that is trying to achieve all that. And then this guy here is little and often marginal gains over and over and over again, slowly moving you forwards, slowly creeping you forward 1% a day over and over again. Make sense? Cool. Okay, so let's have a look um, at the next, my notes here for the next part. So we have to like look at this in an emotional scene. So I want you to paint a picture of two different lives or two different outcomes that you could have. So we start Sunday night is a perfect example, right? So Sunday night, we have the Sunday blues. We tend to feel quite anxious about going to work in the morning, probably because we don't know what we're going to hit, hit with. Probably because we think, oh, it's just another grind that I've got to get through. I've just got to firefight. I've just got to put up with life. Or then you can have a look at life B. So life B then becomes the guy who's not anxious about the week because he's planned all of his focus, his time, his energy, everything that he's going to achieve to achieve the outcomes that he wants. OK, so when you think about those two different ways of people waking up, Man A is going to wake up having press snooze five or six times on the Monday morning, dreading getting up. Man B, he has a morning routine. He gets up an hour earlier before he normally would. He then spends an hour on himself, building up a level of activity, mindset, clarity, and gratitude. So he's preparing and building the mind, armoring the mind and emotions ready for the day. He knows exactly where his time is going, his energy is going, his focus is going, he knows exactly what he wants to achieve. Whereas the other guy is not really clear, doesn't really know, hasn't got anything written down. So these two different lives, as you can see, are going through two different scenarios. And for me, this hit me like uh, an anti-Joshua clean right swing in 2014. So I just come out, slowly started coming out of a really depressive cycle of life or chapter of my life after divorce, drink, suicide, attempt, um, coming out of the military, being lost, and slowly starting to build my business and find, uh, uh, if you like, direction again. But in terms of focus, I remember getting in the car to go to the gym, and I talk, nearly talked myself out of going to the gym because I felt like I did not have the time to be able to go to the gym and work out. I didn't feel like I could withdraw for one hour from my business to go and work out. And as I was driving to the gym, I turned around and said, I don't have time to work out. I just don't have time because I was thinking about all the things that I had to do because I wasn't prioritizing. So I got to the gym and I didn't get out and I start the car again. And then I drove home and worked for another six hours in my gym rig. And it was clear to me that my focus was all over the place. It was 90% business, 10% everything else, everything else being relationships, health, personal development, fun and I was restricting that focus and that caused me huge amounts of chaos huge amounts of frustration and huge amounts of anxiety and it was that moment when I really opened up my eyes to go I need to get my time and energy and focus I need to get that equation squared away otherwise this is going to be really an unhappy life okay my missus is going to leave me I'm going to miss the kids growing up I'm going to continue to drink, to cope with the stress of firefighting, and I'm, I'm going to end up being fat and unhealthy mentally, emotionally, and physically. Okay, so that was a pretty tough time, but this is where all of this stemmed from. And over the years, I've slowly evolved um, my methods so that actually I put myself in control. So what I always think about this is, and whether you have a business or career, I want you to think about it this way. Base your career or your business around your life, not your life around your career or business, okay? Base your career or business around your life, 
not your life around that career or business. And this is where that mismatch of focus comes in, right? This is where we're like 80% work, firefighting, exhausted mentally, emotionally, sitting in a car, completely daydreaming, wrecked on the way home. So one of the things that we can do is build a relentless focus over 12 weeks, okay? And then that 12 weeks gives us an element of vision, desire, drive, passion, focus, okay? So I'm just gonna give us, I'll give you an idea of how we can do this, okay? So I'm only gonna give a couple of examples here. We can go into much more detail, but we don't necessarily have the full time. So I'm just gonna give you a couple of examples, okay? So there's a couple of ways to do this. One and two. You can either look at this as, look at the things that you want, okay? What do you want over a 12 week period? What would you love? What would you really love? What would you, at the end of those 12 weeks, you go, man, I am pumped that I achieved that. I feel really great that I achieved that. I got everything I wanted out of like life, out of my time, out of my energy. And then you write those down. So how we would get to that point is you brain dump everything that you think you would love. I want to lose four stone. I want to get a brand new car. I want to apply for a new job. I want to update my CV. I want to, um, I want to launch a brand new program. I want to sort my nutrition out. I want to improve my connection with my wife. Like write them all down and then prioritize them. So I would probably say, do your top three or top two wants that you want to achieve. Okay. If you're new to this, it's probably just to do the best two. So you're starting to have those marginal gains, the 1% gains. Okay. So you can do it like that. The other way that you could do it is using our five pillar system. Okay. So these are the two methods, or you could say, I'm going to achieve one thing per pillar. Okay. One thing per pillar. So you could achieve something in a personal development over 12 weeks, something to do with your health, something to do in your relationships, something to do for fun and something to do with business. So what that might look like, for example, is that over personal development, you might choose one book that you want to read. Okay. It might be something to do with professional in a professional sense. You might have to complete a couple of modules to help you with the promotion in your business, okay? Whatever it might be. It might be your morning routine. It might be your journaling, something that personally develops you, whether it's professionally or personally. Health could be losing weight, improving your running, getting gains at the gym, building yourself mentally, building yourself emotionally. That's where we then think about all of those wants under the health headline and go, which one's, which one? do I really want to achieve first and why? The why is really important. The why is the emotional connection to you showing up over those 12 weeks, right? Relationship, exactly the same thing. Okay, what's the priority? What's the number one priority over the 12 weeks? Number one priority about having fun over the 12 weeks. Are you going to go somewhere for a long weekend? Are you going to do spend more time with friends? What is it in terms of fun? And then same with business slash career. So what we've done is then go through the process of the brain dump. Then we prioritize. Okay, so the brain dump is writing it all down. The prioritization is understanding the emotional connection, the reason why, and, and what is the biggest pull? Where do you want that energy, your time and energy to go the most? And that's what we have to think about. If you remember the focus time energy equation, where your time and energy goes depends on where that focus is. And if that focus isn't, um, if that isn't, emo if you're not emotionally connected to that focus, if it doesn't like get you excited, if it doesn't want to get you out of bed, if it doesn't push the comfort zone slightly, then what we can tend to do is lose focus. Okay. So we have to make sure we keep connecting with it over and over and over again. Okay. Cool. All right. So, we now have got our 12 week outcomes, all right? So when we talk about building relentless focus over 12 weeks, this is as simple as it gets. I think people overthink it or overcomplicate it. So we can even have one, two, or maybe three wants without any headlines, or you can have one that's here, okay? All right, so one per pillar. So the next phase or the next step, okay, is to reverse engineer this. Okay, to reverse engineer this. So I'm just going to take health, for example. Okay, just going to take health on this occasion. Let's say 
Um, so one of our guys lost uh, 15 kilograms. So let's just say, realistically, you want to lose three stone over three months. Okay, let's say we've put on a bit of weight, we've got complacent, and we kind of look at ourselves and we go, I want to lose three stone. Okay? So that is the outcome over 12 weeks. So what we have to break it down now is into chapters because 12 weeks is quite a long time, okay? It's quite far away. And just saying that we want to lose three stone isn't enough. It's not enough focus. There's not enough attention to detail to keep your time and energy in terms of keeping the attention of your time and energy and achieving that. So we have to break it down. Okay. So we will have um, 28 day one. 28 day two, and then 28 day three. Okay, so we then really are breaking it down into a month. So if you think about quarter two, we go April, May, and June. Okay, so we think, uh, I think about all of our clients who have just created their 12 week plans. They've broken it down into three checkpoints. So the first checkpoint will be here, which is April, this would be May, and this would be April, May, June. Okay, cool. So now we've got our checkpoints. So now we can put all of our focus and energy into the first 28 days. So we're now not necessarily thinking about the 12-week goal. What we're thinking about now is what we have to achieve in the first four weeks of that 12-week process. Okay, so right here, things that we will have to consider this is where we then brain dump, okay? So the first thing that we have to do is brain dump the first, the priorities. So we have to understand what is the priority in those first four weeks for me to attain this outcome? Well, the first thing that we probably have to do is understand calories. In fact, I'm not gonna write all down and take forever. So you'd have to think about how do I, how do I learn to track my calories? How do I get into a routine to track my calories? How do I make sure I build a training schedule? How do I stay accountable? So these are all things that we want to be trying to achieve, right? So what we'd end up doing is going, right, let's create three to four outcomes in April that we will need to achieve to achieve this 12-week goal, okay? So calorie tracking would be one, training plan, accountability, Um, and so we've got calories, training plan, and we want to lose at least 10 pounds in that first month, okay? So what we would then do is look at that and go, right, bang, that's what I need to achieve. This is now, suddenly we've gone from uh, our 12-week our goal to our four-week goal. So now we're focusing on over, what we're going to achieve over four weeks. We now know what we need to achieve. I need May and June blank. Okay, and what I do mid-April, or probably the third week of April, mid-April mid to the third week of April, is start looking at the progress that I've made. I want to start looking at the progress that I've made. Have I got my training sorted out? Have I got my calories sorted out? Am I holding myself accountable? Am I on track to lose X amount of weight that I need to over the month? Okay. And then what we end up doing is on the second, third week here, we then start updating May. So what do I now need to do in May to get to this point here? So if I've got 10 pounds, if I'm on track to achieve my 10 pounds, we need to up that slightly to make sure we hit this goal here. So we would probably say, right, I need to lose 15 pounds here, okay? Okay, I need to make sure I hit all of my accountability because in the first four weeks, I wasn't 100% consistent. Okay, so I need to up that consistency. So consistency of tracking. Okay, consistency in tracking. The training plan, it might be that we now up the weights, we up the running, we up the intensity. Okay, so we upscale. And then by the time the end of the first month's done, we then need to make sure that we have adjusted our tracking or adjusted our figures for how many calories we need. Because if we've lost 10 pounds, we're definitely gonna to need to change the numbers, okay, in the track, in the calorie tracking calculator 
to achieve the right thing, all right? So calories. So the whole point of this is that we're thinking about it, okay? These, this attention to detail is more interesting when we actually put this plan into place. But what we are doing here is creating a focus where your time and energy is now being focused. If you don't have this goal, if you don't have this focus, your time and energy is going to be, yeah, I, I need to think about losing weight. And you might like here or there, maybe stumble, start, trip, stop, like not even bother. And if you ever think about your journey in health or journaling or personal development or anything it might be, it's always like a mountain range. It's up and it's down, right? One minute you're on it, next minute you're off. And the reason lads don't stay consistent, men and women, the reason that people don't stay consistent is because there is no structure to their plan. This is a structure. So we are working methodically through this process with checkpoints, with accountability, okay, with control, with clarity, with commitment. And what we're doing is we are writing down where we're going with our time and energy. So like you do your finances, I hope you all do. You write down what's coming in. You write down what's going out. You manage your budget for what you can spend. This is what you're doing, but for your time and your energy. Okay, we're being accountable for where it's going by managing our focus. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay, if you understand this, like suddenly you start achieving all the things you want to, right? Like having the body you're proud of, like having more connection with your partner because you've made the time, because you've written down that you're going to be making more time for it and you can explain how you're going to do it. And at the start, you're like, oh, this is a lot of work, but it's not. Like it, you, it's like anything. It's like riding a bike, driving a car. You get in, first time you get in a car, you're like, how the hell am I even going to be able to ride this bike, uh, uh, ride this, drive this car or ride that bike? And then suddenly you get in the car and you drive 400 miles without even thinking about it. It just happens. This is a way of life. This is a rewiring, a recircuiting. This is how we manage that focus, okay? And then there's one more step. Okay, one more step. And it's to break it down even more. Break it down even more, okay? So we've gone from 12 weeks, okay, to 28 days, to week one. Week one. Day one. Okay, so once you create that plan in April with all those things we talked about, having a training plan, planning your calories, being accountable, losing 10 pounds, we then go, in week one, what do I need to learn? What do I need to achieve? What needs to be done with my time and energy? Okay, so it might be, day one might be, create your training plan. You don't need a personal trainer to write down, I'm going to the gym three times a week. You can go on YouTube and look at gym workouts for your chest. You can look at gym workouts for your legs, for your abs on YouTube. In 2013, in, well, in 2012, when I started my side hustle, I learned how to run a business on YouTube for the whole year. Because I couldn't afford a mentor and I couldn't afford somebody to show me how to run a business. So I went on YouTube and I found it. And you can do that. So you can figure out how to do your, your plan. You can figure out how to... Um, work out how to track your calories. You can, it's all on, you can do all of this on YouTube if you wanted, okay? The accountability, you're either gonna have to find an accountability partner, sign up to a program, be around like-minded people, okay? That's the biggest part for a lot of guys is the accountability to staying on this, okay? So suddenly we've broken it down to here. So it's what we're gonna achieve week to week to achieve the 28 day plan to move us close to the 12 week plan. Make sense? That is how we move forward. And we have got a ton of guys who have got these 12 week plans down and have nailed it. Like, do you know what I mean? They've absolutely nailed the way that they're showing up and all of the things that they are doing. And I'm gonna try and show you, I'm gonna try and show you that right now. Um, let me just get this up for you so you can have a look at what some of the guys have done, okay? And this will be beneficial for you to be able to see, okay, how this works. All right, let me share this with you. Okay, so this is our members. So, and quarter two, an April outcome. So this is mine, here's mine. Okay, so quarter two, 
wants travel, going to Dublin, Portugal and Spain. Okay, want two is elite business movement. So run the first five day challenge and legacy program for business owners. This is booked in, course needs to be developed, exactly, et cetera. So they're all the things in quarter two that I wanted to achieve. So I put six wants. That's where I want my time and energy to be going. Okay, so when I look back at this, I can then judge myself, review myself. And then I look at April and I'm like, okay, what do I need to be doing in April? Okay, so these are the things that I needed to make sure that I'm doing. They're a mixture of personal and professional. And then we've got all the lads down here who have put all of theirs in. Okay, if we go through each of these guys, they've each done exactly the same, following the same format, following the same system, the same model. Okay, and it can go on. So you can see how powerful this is. You can see how powerful this is, right? Um, so much so that, I wonder if this is gonna let me in. So much so that we can achieve some really great results. Okay, so let me just see if this uh, lets me in. Something always goes wrong. So I wanna show you the type of results um, that can happen from you having relentless focus, okay? So there's, there's me live right now with you guys. And I wanna show you this one picture. And it's important to be able to see the direct results of this instead of me just chopping off about it. Okay, it's important that you see this. So let's look here, look, this is Neil, one of our clients. Look how good he looks there. So I put it here. Okay, we're not even a transformation program, okay? But this is the byproduct of just having a planning system, which is what I'm showing you here, that allows you to manage your time and an energy. Being accountable, right? Building discipline through a process, managing his mindset and emotion, being consistent, having altitude, <laughs> having a good attitude and building commitment. So look at that our man there, 15 kilograms. Look how good he looks. That on the left is a body to be proud of. 100% body to be proud of. Look at his face, he looks healthy. Look at the version on the right. Doesn't look healthy. Looks worn out, looks tired, looks overweight. Okay. Um, you know, and he's super proud of himself. Super proud of himself, and he should be. And there's many other guys like that doing the same thing, right? Um, cool. So, um, what we want to talk about is how um, we can make this a reality. So how can we make this a reality? How can this actually happen? So I've been doing this a very long time. And one of the things that I know for sure, whether you believe it or not, is that doing this alone is nails. Absolutely hard. Because there's no accountability. There's no blueprint of how to do it. You kind of just watch some of this and go, All right, how did he do that? How do I go about doing that? But actually we need a lot of assistance. I need, I've got a mentor and a coach for a few things, jujitsu, for business, um, for running. And uh, I think we all need somebody to be able to help us get to the place that we want to go. So this is a system here. This is a process. If you like, this is a solution to many of the problems that you have. But what will often happen is that a lot of people will pass up the opportunity to really change. And it will be like maybe another two months, maybe two years, maybe never, where you never change it. And you'll think, God, oh, yeah, that like the results look great. The course looks good. The guys put the stuff up, but there are benefits and key features that we, that we put into place that allow you to go through a blueprint. And we've been doing this a long time. We've evolved the course over the many years even from every single course gets better and better and better. And the way that we do this is that I work with guys over a five week period to get their journey started. So it's always about starting. So if you think about those big power lifters, right? You remember, you've seen those guys and they've got all the straps on and it's attached to the lorry and they start pounding forwards. They're like, Wah. and at the very start, it's so tough to get the momentum of that lorry. But then when they're in a motion and they start getting moving, it seems a little easier, doesn't it? Okay, some burn out because they go off too hard or they don't necessarily uh, have not trained or it's not their strength and some power through. So what we do over a five week period is we help get the lorry moving. We help guys get off the floor, 
awaken and resurrect the way that they're showing up. Now, that's by seeing me once a week. Every single week, you'll have a group one-on-one -on -one with me, which means that we'll have a conversation back and forth. We'll do some action planning. We'll review what's going well, what's not going well. People can open. We've had some of the best by our side chats with guys in that group ever. And that's really beneficial for guys to talk out what they're going through, talk out the process, talk out what they're winning at, figure out what they're not winning at, learn from the other lads as well. And that element is really, really, really important. That's a real key benefit or bonus, if you like, to being a part of something, a process where you can grow, being around like-minded men, having a coach or mentor to guide you. Then having modules. So what we have over five weeks is the next week, we start Monday, we have this prep week and prep week is so important because it's like getting in the car or riding the bike. Whew, overwhelm, oh my God, this is new, this is different. We need a week to prepare for that. So we kind of need to get people integrated into the app. We need people learning where they've got to go, where they've got to be, what they've got to do. And that week usually allows that. So you get the four, four weeks in terms of having a program to focus on. And then as we go through the four weeks, there are modules in the first week, second week, third week, and fourth week. And all of those are designed to get more of what we want or understand what is required to get more of what we want. Some of it is tough because you have to confront the man in the mirror. If you're fit of BS, man, this is going to iron it out. We're going to squeeze it out, okay? We want to detox you from that old life because the, because the forfeit to having a new life, to changing, is leaving the old one behind, okay? And we have to make sure that we, to get that new, that new guy that we're looking for, we have to kill off the old guy, but we have to be honest and open. And there's some really good training in there. And you don't need a lot of time. I reckon most that you need per day is 10 to 15 minutes on this process to change, okay? change the outcome. And then suddenly what we start doing is changing the habits. We change the routines. We change the mindset. We change the story. We drop the ego. We confront ourselves and, and we push forwards, right? I think that's super, super key. So this is something that we're offering, guys, to, to get to this stage where we can build this. We can build this process. Day one, week one is on Monday. So if you want to come in with us and you want to come and join us and join the guys that have signed up already, next week is prep week. Okay, this is one of those opportunities where you're on a cliff edge and you go, do I jump and take a leap of faith? Do I change what I've been doing or the way that I've been living? Or do I keep convincing myself with some form of excuses, with some form of story or narrative about why I can't again and keep doing that and then just completely disappear and just pretend it never happened? Okay. So th that choice is always one for that individual to make, okay? It's down to me to show you everything that works, everything that goes on. You all right? Oh, I love you. I'll come up and see you in a minute. I'm nearly finished. I love you. I'll come up, I'll be five minutes. Bye-bye. Um, and it's, oh, I'll completely throw him off there. Yeah, and that's down to the individual. That's down to the... The individual man, do I go, do I stop the BS or do I get on with it and do something about it? Okay. The way that we look at this, when I price this up, I kind of always look at this and go, I always say most people spend a lot of money on meal deals, coffee, beers, takeaways, things that they don't necessarily need. And the way that I feel that we price this is, 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 is super fair in that respect, okay? It's super fair in that respect. I wonder if you could replace all of the things that you purchase that you don't necessarily need or don't benefit you and replace it with personal development to create the guy that you desperately want to be with the things that you want. Whether you could really actually understand yourself so much better and, you know, if I was to say to you, how much would you pay to have a better marriage? How much would you pay to have a better body? How much would you pay to thrive? For life every single morning when you woke up you go how much is that worth to you and i think that the, the way that we do this over five weeks our price is normally that we you normally sell this for like 300 pounds but for this it's 199 so we look at this and go right it's 199 pound for five weeks five weeks of me being your mentor your coach your guide start changing the way that you, li you live your life and if you get to the end of those five weeks and you follow everything that i've said to you you've turned up to all of the coaching you've done all of the modules you've done all of the accountability and you say to me james it's not for me 
it didn't, I didn't really get anything out of it. I will literally give you your money back, okay, straight away. No questions. I won't even question it. I will just give you your money back, okay? So it is like risk-free. It's risk-free. Um, and I think that's it, guys. Um, so if there is any questions, please leave them in the comments. I want to put the kids down to bed. I'll come back to them before. But the deadline is tonight. So we close our doors to anyone coming into our world tonight for a couple of weeks. Um, uh, and this opportunity finishes them. So if, if you like what we've gone through, if you like the thought of having this relentless focus, if you like the thought of working on yourself, developing yourself as a project, building yourself up, being a better husband, building a better body, building a, a, a thriving attitude and mentality towards your business or your career, okay, whichever one it will be, um, or just being strong enough to put your phone down and build barriers and, um, and, and a line across the sand as when you finish work and you get to be home to be dad and putting the dad hat on. It's key, right? These things are really, really important, and we love helping guys that want to be be in that place so if that's you there's a link somewhere uh somewhere on the post go and check it out and we will look forward to seeing you on the other side all right have a great sunday see you tomorrow